Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Thurston County. I'm Gordon Elwood. And I'm Greta Morley Dixon. I'm Casey Sadie. And I'm Rune Boggs. I'm Zach Crawford, and this is Lauren Shett. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Jessica, and we're here with our special guest, Deborah Vinsel, the CEO of TCTV. Mike Hoover, a parliamentarian in the Washington State House. Ned Hayes, author of historical fiction. So Ned, you're a writer. Would you like to tell us more about your books? Absolutely. This is my newest book. It's called Sinful Folk. It's set in the medieval era and uh, I've been really excited to have it be a bestseller in Thurston County. What, what inspired you to start writing historical fiction? I found it interesting to step back into a different period. What's the purpose for writing Sinful Folk? Sinful Folk is, has an interesting backstory. I, I did some graduate work in, in medieval literature in Chaucer and there's a small, a small little thing I read in a graduate thesis about a group of people, actually, not just a woman, who went across England in the middle of winter after their children were killed, and they were asking for justice, and that's all the historical record tells us. I ended up having uh, an idea for, a, um, for what might have happened when the fire started, and I pictured this woman waking up in the night and not knowing what had happened to her, to her child, it's very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you like about your job? What always has excited me the most about it is how people, once they learn how to use the tools and mm -hmm. learn how to create media products or video products, they have a better understanding of what they're watching. So uh -huh. that, always, that always excites me, is watching people become very literate, very media literate uh -huh. about what they're watching. What made you interested in law? So I've always had an interest in solving problems and, and hopefully bringing people together. Um, and law seemed like a natural way to learn the rules and the process that uh, is most useful to help people solve problems. Thank you, Ned, for coming. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for coming. Thank it's you. It's great to have you here. Thank you. It's my pleasure. It was nice having you here, and thanks for talking with us. It was a lot of fun. It's been my pleasure. You guys did a great job. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Jessica. And this has been Let's Talk Thurston County. Hello and welcome to Talk Time Time Travel. I'm Anastasia, the Glass Grand Duchess, and I'm here with J35S1CA. I'm your host, Greta Morley Dixon, and today our special guest is Pierre, a French revolutionaire. Really? My name is Dr. Cray Cray, and with me I have my co-host, Zach Crawford. So my first question for you, J35S1CA, is what is overall, what is the new technology in the future? Well, I can't say exactly, but I just know the technology is very advanced from now. It makes some people even more lazier than they should be. Big problem. Yeah. Today Smart. we're going to be talking with some time travelers uh, from the future. Uh, <laughs> Do uh, so Vivian Starr Star. and what's your name again? Doctor. Doctor Who. Exactly. That's oh. my name. <laughs> So my final question for you is, have you ever thought of using unhuman machines or robots to do common everyday things such as rule? Ooh, do. I don't know if that's the best idea because they could destroy us, take us over, attack us, uh, and stuff like that. That would not be good. And they could outsmart us. We are kind of stupid sometimes. You guys um, struggle many thing with many things these days, but we've, we've got them all figured out. I've heard that you guys are working on overthrowing the king. That is right, he's doing a terrible job. He needs to die. Well, he doesn't need to die, I guess. We just need to have a new king. We don't eat animals anymore. Yes, we don't. We How have... do you get your food then? How do we get our food? Well, we have uh... food replicators. Yeah. This has been Talk Time Time Travel. Bye. Bye. <laughs>